What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. I was going to say Monday morning, but it's Thursday. It's Thursday, lads. We have got our player of the week selection here. We have the J-League players. We'll focus on them in another video. But for now, we are going to go quickly through these player of the weeks, right? Now, listen, I've said this once, twice, three times, and I'll probably say it again. These player of the weeks are really dependent on when you've actually got the game. I know guys that are downloading the game a month ago and that are sp still spinning for these player of the weeks and are like, oh, you know, Harry Kane would be a really nice focal point or even a guy off the bench that I could bring on. You know, people that have got like Romario and Adriano and big time Rashford up front or Eto or David Villa, you're not really going to be like getting too excited about Harry Kane, right? Some of the other players in here are fairly decent as well. You have got Count Dooku um, and, for, and you've also got Sakaria who is nice. If you wanted to play with some different types of players, um, you've got Wellington there as well, Wellington. And this guy is down as a destroyer. The big thing about these cards, lads, is the A form, but that's kind of lost a little bit of its prestige over the last couple of uh, weeks since they took out the, the, the form a little bit. It's very rare now that I have a player that's, you know, fully down renting, even if they're on C form um, or B form, especially, you know, you never really see that, right? So going from right to left with these two boys here, you've got your traditional center back. He go, He's going to have all his defensive stats into the 90s apart from defensive engagement. Speed and acceleration, not too bad. His jumping and physical contact are quite decent, and he's got some nice player skills, but he does not have blocker lads, which you can't give him, which I think as a destroyer is a big no-no, okay? We also have Silvestri here, who's a goalkeeper. He's going to actually get goalkeeper reflexes, awareness, and reach all into the 90s, um, which is decent. He has high punt. He doesn't have long throw or low punt, which is a big no-no for me as well, so I don't really rate him too highly either. We also have Ito and do Dovbik, 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 is that his name? He's got a very, very nice um, player card if you are into heading because he's got 184, which isn't that high, but he's got, uh, or isn't that tall, but he's got acrobatic finishing, heading, aerial superiority, first time shot and one touch pass. So that's a nice card if you are like getting somebody to throw into the box, throw it into the mixer. Kicking power is going to go to 90. Finishing is going to go to 90. Attack and awareness is going to go to 90 or over, or probably around 91 with the manager boots, depending on what manager you're using. He's got good aggression, but his speed, his acceleration, and his tight possession are very poor. And the killer on this card, lads, is the balance. So he's also a big thumbs down for me. Ito as a winger, you know what you're getting with speed and power, bad ball control and balance, which isn't that great. Double touch, dip and shot, heel trick, super sub makes him a little bit more viable. I do have a legend version of Ito and he is a beast, but he just doesn't ever seem to light it up like he should, right? So I don't think this card is going to be that great. We also have Lee Kang as well. This guy is playing for PSG at the moment. Pinpoint cross and double touch Marseille turn. Um, looks a good card as well. More of a kind of a kind of a, a playmaker and hole player, obviously. Ball control, dribbling type possession, low pass, all going to be into the 90s with acceleration and balance fairly high as well in the mid 80s. But to be honest, lads, this guy is as mid as you will get for an attacking midfielder. He's just mid-game attacking midfielder. He's not going to make a change. There are better player, players on the GP market, right? So that brings us to one of the picks of the pack, which is going to be Zakaria. Now, this guy has featured in a couple of videos of mine as one of these cheap budget players, one of the best CMF or slash DMFs in the game. Look at those stats, man, right? Now, not only does he have nice tight possession, low pass dribbling and ball control, he also has aggression that's going to go past 95 with the manager boost. All his defensive stats are going to be in the mid 80s or low 80s. And his speed and acceleration are going to be in the 80s as well as his physical contact and stamina, which is very, very nice. He has got blocker, interception, and that all-important fighting spirit. One-touch pass, weighted pass, and then he's also got long-range shooting and rising shots. So I would say that this guy is probably as close as you're going to get because of his height, his power, his pace, his physical contact. He's probably as close as you're going to get to classic Goretzka, if anyone who played the game a long time ago. But if you've played the game a long time ago, you probably have better centre midfielders than this guy now. The free Bellingham was the best centre midfielder that they've probably released in a long time that you could get for the free nominating contract. I think this guy, for a defensive build of that Bellingham, is a monster. Very, 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 very good. You obviously know that um, 
Bellingham goes to like a 90 aggression. This guy goes to 94. Speed and acceleration, physical contact, all kind of similar. And then the ball control, everything is pretty much similar. It's a very similar card to that Bellingham card. So I do highly recommend him. If you can get him, definitely stick him into your, into your squad, right? Bruno, the less said about United, lads, the better at the moment for me. Bruno is down here. He's got low pass, ball control, and kicking power and stamina all going to be into the 90 zone. He actually does have some nice player skills as well, but I'm so down, lads. My whole tone has changed. I'm so down on United, man. I went to play a bit of footy last night, saw, the, saw that we were 2-1 up, I think, or 2 all, or it was a 2-0 or whatever it was, and then came back and it was like, oh, it's 4-3. I was like, oh, we, we, we left it late to win it. And I was like, no, we actually lost. So I was depressed, man, for, uh, for United last night. I just, I don't know what's going on with him, man, conceding four goals like that. But um, this Bruno card, we've had tons of Bruno cards. It's nothing to shout home about at the moment. Count Dooku, massive pace. You're going to be maxing out that speed and acceleration and dribbling. This guy is as close to Ribery as you're going to get. Obviously, with a couple of concessions that you're going to have to make. Low pass, lofted pass, and finishing are not going to be as high as Ribery. But, like, look at that. Insane balance. Balance uh, is key for this card. Tight possession is key for this card. Dribbling is key for this card. And he's got some lovely player skills as well. He's got flip-flap, double touch, and soul control. This guy is going to be silky smooth, man. He's going to be as smooth as Collar's bald bottom. That's what he's going to be as smooth as after a fresh shave. And I think that he will be very, very nice to play with. One of my favorite players to use on my road to glory. And I'll definitely try to get him with my free spin, which you can get in the event this week. It is back. You also have Jackson fresh off his hattie. His hat-trick with Chelsea. Very, very nice card if you're looking for just an average center forward. Other than that, I mean, acrobatic finishing, first-time shot. Pretty much that's it. I mean, balance is a bit of a killer with tight possession, but he does have 90-plus finishing. He's okay. I mean, he's neither here nor there. I thought that he'd have better heading and physical contact to make this card a little bit more usable, but unfortunately he doesn't. And then we have the two big boys here, Araujo and Kane. So I would say that Zakaria is definitely the pick of it. And then I would say Araujo definitely plays above his stats as well. Like, look, you've got an excellent player here in Araujo, okay? Unwavering form. He's got blocker area superiority, man marking and interception with slide tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. And of course, you've got heading as well. So he's got pretty much everything you could possibly want. He also has every defensive stat that is going to be 90 or above. So you've got 90 defensive awareness, 90 aggression, and 92 tackling, which will go to a 94, and defensive engagement, which will go to a 92 with a manager such as Ten Hag, or any of the special managers, and then our, you know, Guardiola, or Klopp, or Simeone, or Tuchel, or any of those. Speed is going to be at 90, acceleration is going to be at 78, and his jumping physical contact and heading. I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. If you are looking for a ball-playing kind of centre-back, um, that is just a little bit something different. And then Harry Kane, right? Harry Kane is not really usable. There's two usable types of, uh, or two types of usable centre-forwards at the moment. You've got your really good um, movement-style players that are able to score from all angles, and you've got your slow, your kind of really fast, kind of like, you know, uh, pacey center forward so you've got on one category like the new Messi's and Romario and, and Michael Owen and then you have the likes of you know Harry Kane and them guys right Harry Kane does have some nice player skills he is a nice it is a nice card it's not the best card they've released him but that acceleration and balance is going to kill this card unless you're used to playing with target men like this that can score goals right finishing boost this card up lot and he kind of inflates his overall it doesn't really make a difference to his stats kicking power is nice physical contact is nice but i would have liked to have seen balance at maybe like a mid 80s here just to have the balance a little bit usable for the where the game is at at the moment so that is it for the player of the weeks so let me know if you guys will spin or skip zakaria uh, count duku and araujo are my top picks let me know what you guys think i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the live stream later peace